Hey, he's going to YouTube, so he knows best here. Here about to do a review of the Apple TV, which I just did an unboxing video not too long ago. But this Apple TV is a device that allows you to rent and buy movies, TV shows, you can buy songs, um, do a lot of other different things straight from your living room in your, on your HD TV. So this device is pretty straightforward. It's going to be a straightforward uh, review of exactly what it can do. Now, first off, the setup is a breeze, just like a lot of Apple products. You know, sync your iTunes account to it. Um, also, during the setup, you can actually uh, sync your iTunes library on your MacBook Pro, or your iMac, or whatever Mac you have. And it works with PCs too as well. But you can sync your iTunes library to the Apple TV and have all your songs on there, all your movies, all your TV shows that you already have right on your device. Now, it takes a little while, so you probably want to do that overnight if you have a lot of content. Um, but setup was a breeze, and but nothing about this device. I'll start with the software. Nothing about it just screams, you know, just makes you say, "Wow!" It amazes you, just like a lot of Apple products do. It just it doesn't, doesn't do that. You know, I don't. I didn't get the same feeling I got when I started messing with the iPhone for the first time with this Apple TV. So it's a, it's a device not to to thrill you, just to get what you want to your TV, to your living room, and start watching it. Um, the interface of it is very smooth, very easy to use. I actually use the Apple remote. This is the aluminum one that came out um, not too long ago. It does come with a plastic Apple remote inside of it, a little small one, but this is definitely a lot more modern, and but also feels better in the hand. But you navigate the menus uh, with this device with the uh, Apple remote, and everything is smooth with it. Um, all the icons look very good. You can see exactly the movie or the, or the song that you're looking for very easily on it. Um, you can also do browse YouTube videos as well. Um, this is pretty cool. So I usually use my PlayStation on my HD TV to do this, but you can now browse your YouTube videos on your Apple TV. And that's pretty good for me because I like to watch some funny YouTube videos or share some funny YouTube videos and don't want to be in my office or in front of my laptop. I can do it right on the TV. You can listen to internet radio, which I actually find pretty good. Uh, I never used it on my computers, but listen to internet radio on your HD TV when, you, when you're cleaning it up or you're cooking or something like that. It's pretty nice. Um, now let's get to just buying the movie itself. You buy it in standard definition or HD, or you can rent it in standard definition or HD, either one of those. And it's fine. You know, it takes a little while to buffer, just a little while, and then you can start watching that movie if you're renting it right then and there while it's still downloading the rest of it. And the quality of it is good. It's connected to my HD TV via HDMI, so the 1080p looks absolutely amazing on it. It looks fine. It looks better than Netflix HD, I'll tell you that. Uh, I watched the movie Law Abiding Citizen with uh, Jamie Foxx and the guy from 300, and it looked crisp, it looked clean, it looked great. Sound was on point, everything is fine with it. So, just in all, in all, the Apple TV does exactly what it's advertised to do very well. Nothing more, nothing less, very well. Get content to your HD TV. Now, the cost of it is 229 That's maybe a deal breaker for some people. I think it's a device probably, uh, it's probably worth around the $150 point, to be honest with you. Now, I think they should drop the price on it. It's been out for a couple of years, but um, the Apple TV is $229, but if you really want something that really integrates not only the content you already have in your computers and interacts with those over your Wi-Fi network, but also be able to get the latest content. Netflix doesn't have the latest movies. Netflix instant on streaming doesn't have the Hurt Locker, all right? iTunes definitely has, so when that movie beat out Avatar, I was kind of like, you know, trying to figure out, you know, what made the movie, because I haven't seen it yet, what made the movie so good that it beat out Avatar for the best movie of the year. I, I, I really like that movie. But uh, anyway, so I wanted to watch it right away. Couldn't do that on Netflix, but I can do it with my Apple TV. So, so you know, it's best to review the Apple TV. Right after this video, I'm going to be jailbreaking, or not really jailbreaking, but I'm going to be hacking this Apple TV, and I can be able to actually use Netflix on it, use Boxy. I don't know if I can do Hulu yet. You used to be able to, but I'm going to be hacking this thing, and I'll have a video going over that a little bit later. All right, so you know, it's best here. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you later. Peace.